by Andrew and Imani. This is it. From the day you first met one another as elementary age neighbors to right now, you've come to the realization that each of your lives is better with the other than without. Hold always to the words of St. Paul the Apostle in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Yes, every last word of it. But in particular, verse 13, which reads, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Always hold on to that. Never forget it. I remember when uh, AJ first moved into the neighborhood with his whole family or whatever. I walked across the street and I met him and I was like, oh, what do you like to do, man? And he was like, I like to play video games. And I was like, well, that's all I need to know, man. We'll be cool for the rest of our lives if that's all you want to do. <laughs> but obviously at the time, I didn't have any idea that we'd all end up here today celebrating him and my sister and mine getting married. AJ, um, you've been part of this family longer than just starting today. Um, I couldn't have asked for more for a young, respectful young man to call my son-in-law. Over the years, AJ's grown up into uh, quite a wonderful human being. Um, Andrew, your mother and I are so very proud of the man that you've become. For our daughter, Imani, on her wedding day, I'm so very proud of you, watching you grow into the woman. You are full of love, strength, and independence. Never in a million years would I have ever thought my best friend in the whole entire world would be marrying my brother. Um, when Imani asked me about five years ago if it would be okay with her going on a date with my brother, I was completely shocked. I am honored, I really am, to call Imani my sister-in-law. Uh, we have always referred to one another as sisters, but now we truly are by marriage, and I couldn't be happier. I'm glad that my sister definitely found somebody that I could trust to keep her safe and make sure that she is well taken care of. On behalf of Andrew and Amani, I want to welcome you to one of the most meaningful moments of their lives as they give themselves to one another in marriage. We have recorded for us in the book of Genesis, God creating everything by speaking it into existence. And after God creates something, rocks, plants, birds, trees, sun, moon, stars, afterwards he says, this is good. And then he gets to the pinnacle of this creative genius. He creates a man in his own image. He molds him. But for the first time we have recorded for us, God saying, this is not good. And the reason we're told God said it wasn't good is because the man was alone. And so he gave him the gift of a wife. Imani, today we are bound together by love. I can't. I'm surrounded by our closest friends' family. In a way, this feels like a final resolution to our journey. But really, this is the start to our lives together. We go into our union with years of experience discovered together, from walking side by side through the streets of Spain, and Barcelona, Paris, and Rome, to our years spent physically apart. I'm walking into this day in awe of my good fortune. We have an incredible, bright future ahead of us, and I cannot wait to share it with you. I love you, AJ. To the love of my life, I don't think words could ever express how excited I am that our day is here. As we both know, you have pretty much always been a part of my life, but what you don't know is that when our remote romantic relationship had started, I had given up. I never thought I would find someone who would love me the way I needed or truly understood me. Craziest part is you were there the whole time. You have shown me what it is to be loved and how to love. I know our future is so bright and I can't wait to experience it all with you. I love you so much, wifey. <laughs> Andrew.
Andrew, the moment you've been waiting for. You may kiss your bride.